Hey guys, what's going on? It's Petro316 here and do another video review for you guys. Today is going to be on the um, Capsule Rebel for the iPhone 3G by Switch Easy. Like I said in my other review on the um, Capsule Classic, I'm really a big fan of Switch Easy. I do like them a lot, but I have to say for this case, I was I do like it, but I'm not as happy as I am with the Capsule Classic. So we'll go, I mean, pretty much, I would assume people would see, I've seen them online, but it's got this skeleton-like shape throughout the back. It's like a, it's like a hard plastic spine and kind of a, not a soft, like a soft plastic silicone-y kind of mix in the middle. Um, I did get to see through one, so you can see through it. And we'll start first by taking it apart and getting it ready. This, I mean, I've used this case for at least five, six months. And, I mean... It does, it shows wear and tear, it definitely does, I mean, there's no denying it, I don't know how the color, maybe the colored ones would work better, but it does show a lot of wear and tear. Of course, we get, we get in here, we get instruction manual, and normally we get two screen protectors, I've used both of them, I don't have them on anymore, they got worn out from using them so much, so I am looking, I gotta get some new screen protectors, but, and we'll go in here, box. Box of goodies, of course. You got your little chamois cloth, always a plus. You got the universal dock, great thing, love that. I mean, like I said before, this is almost a selling point for me. And little video thing, watch videos. Never probably use this once or twice. I don't know. I mean, if you like videos a lot, perfect for you. I'm not a big fan of watching it. So here's what I said before. This is the um, Plastic. I mean, it's very plasticky. It's malleable, but it's still hard enough that you can hear that. It's still hard enough. It's still hard, and this is it's real hard. I mean, you can see here, lots of scratches, lots of abuse. I've given this case tons of abuse. I mean, dropped it, taken on and off. This is the only thing I've seen. Probably with the clear, you can see the scuff marks here from taking it on and off so much. I mean, I guess another thing I don't know if you would see it without the clear, but since I got the clear, I mean. See a problem with them? We'll slide this that bad boy on the phone. Slide it in like that. And then you push down, make sure you get both of them, and it's on like this. And then you start to see the problem. Everyone's talked about this. I've seen it on Morpheus's website, Carlos. I've seen it on his. I've seen it on a few other people's reviews. And you got this saggy bottom. I mean, it just, and it doesn't cover. The chrome, I mean, it's that's a big point. I mean, even when you put the plastic case on it, it tightens it all up. It doesn't cover that chrome. And that's a real pain. I mean, I don't like that. I really don't. I wish there was some way, I mean, maybe they could reinforce it somehow or something like that. I don't know. So this is how you shove it on. You shove it on top first. And you push down on it. And make sure you get these all these little clips in there. You can hear them clicking. And then, boom, click it all right in, and we're in. You can see, you can really start to see that saggy bottom going. I mean, and you usually, I mean, you can put it a little bit up, and you can cover it up a little bit, but, I mean, it's there. It is there, and I really don't like it. The shock protection, I mean, look at that bounce. I love the, it's got a lot of shock protection, a lot of scratch protection. I love the feel of it. it enough where you can grip it not so slippery as a plastic case I mean it's got good it's kind of like the best of both worlds in a way but I mean I don't know like I do like it it does add some bulk to the phone and I don't know if people like gonna scroll through your pictures that this is gonna get in your way I mean sometimes texting you might hit it I haven't had that problem another problem I've had with this case is when you put a screen protector on these things kind of pinch up the corner and you get some air bubbles in there I mean Sometimes you can squeeze them up, sometimes you can't, and that's and that's not good. I mean, you can you can see my chrome here. I mean, my chrome is pretty scratched up from it because this doesn't sit up here like it should. But I mean, overall, this is a great case. I really, really, I haven't had any problems getting headphones in. The camera hole lines up great. Buttons work. I mean, buttons work fine. All these work fine. Power button, great. I haven't had any problems with that, it's just, maybe it's just where that this little flaggy, saggy bottom happens, I don't know. But I mean, I do like the case. 
it's, it's a good case. I mean, definitely a good case. Switch Easy really has got their stuff going good with cases. I mean, I really enjoy it. I just wish just a few things that they could maybe a little easier to get on and off. Maybe fix this saggy bottom here. I mean, and I'm sold. I mean, I'm obviously sold. I bought it, and I really like it. I do like see the see-through. I think it would look cool with like a jealous skin or something like that. I will have a review up soon of some unique skins, and I'll show you how it looks in here with these. So, another video review. If um, anybody's got any questions, please ask. Please comment. And if you like the videos, request some um, reviews, and I'll review anything you want. So, thank you. Have a good night.